Hello again, this is Christian down here in Santiago, Chile, and I'm doing this uh, video response to this uh, thread that, that an, another long overdue thread response. This is the the most expensive um, albums, CDs, or cassettes in my discography according to, to uh, Discogs. So I, I pick up uh, 25. Um, I'm going with um, with the average price because sometimes you know. Uh, the, the big one, uh, the, also, or the top one, uh, maybe uh, a sealed copy, or uh, a signed copy, or, uh, or, a, or a weird one. But um, without further ado, I'm going to start with uh, my number 25. And it's a cassette, and it's this one, the Somewhere in Time Chilean edition from uh, 1987. And it's, it has an app, well, only one price, $27.35. That's number 25. 24, it's, uh, it's Iron Maiden Life After Death. It's a CD. Uh, it will sell um, at uh, $27.44. Uh, max, maximum max, max price paid for this has, has been uh, $49.99. It's the castle edition that comes with the Obi. I have the Obi, uh, kind of Obi here. I have the um, uh, here in a box, but I do have them. This one with the that Obi that came. This one. Oh, this is the castle edition number twenty-four. Number twenty-three. It's um, like I said, I have shown many times. It's a children band from nineteen nineteen. Um, it has been sold at $28.99 dollars um, and it's betrayed and uh, from 1990 it's uh, 1879 Tales of War this is a really good heavy metal band so there it is number 23 number 22 it's an, also a cassette a children cassette from 1986 it had been sold at uh, 29 dollars and it's turbo, turbo. Uh, of course, Judas Priest, it, it's also a, a Chilean edition of this cassette. Okay, that's 22, number 21. A surprise! I shown this one with um, some goodies uh, as a thread response, and it's the box set of Chicken Food. Three CDs. To, uh, the two studio uh, recordings and one uh, live one. Uh, it has been sold uh, the average of twenty nine thirty six dollars and a maximum price of forty five and seventy eight. It's uh, twenty twelve uh, European uh, release and on ear ear music. So there it is, number twenty one. Number twenty. It's uh, Queen the Works. Has been sold uh, minimum price twenty, average price twenty nine eighty nine, and maximum price of ninety nine ninety nine dollars. It's a nineteen eighty four uh, U.S. Uh, pressing. So it is Queen the works. Now at number nineteen, it's an, another vinyl. It's a um, Brazilian pressing of this compilation of Queen. Thank God it's Christmas. It had been sold uh, average price of thirty dollars and maximum price of thirty six and fifty. It's a nineteen eighty five Brazilian pressing, and it's a kind of a combination. Next is this one uh, from another one from the Castle Editions of Iron Maiden, the one that came with the. With the two, uh, two discs and the OBI, I have it uh, in a box, keep it under good care. And it has been sold at $33.87, average price and maximum price of $75. It's a 1995 US uh, present. Here it is. I don't need it. 17. It's this one, uh, it's Tesla, the great radio controversy from 1989. 
has been sold for an average price of $34.65 and a maximum price of $70. Really expensive. This is mine from back in the age I bought it when it came out in 1989. So there it is, Tesla. Number 16. 16, yep, it's a Brazilian pressing of Metallica Masters of Puppet. It's a 1987 um, it had been sold at an uh, average price of $34.90 and a maximum price of $44.74. $44.74. So yeah, there it is, number 18. No, I'm sorry, number 16. Metallica Master of Puppets Brazilian Press. Next, uh, number 15. Another surprise. I, I've shown this uh, with uh, responding to a uh, goodies uh, thread. It's uh, the box set of uh, Megadeth Countdown to Extinction 20th Anniversary Edition from 2012. It's a US pressing. Uh, minimum price it's $24.99, average price $35, and a maximum price, a uh, top price of $49. There it is. I've shown this with all the goodies. It, it comes with a uh, two, two CDs, a live concert, a huge poster, and some cool uh, band members' uh, photo, photographs. Next, number 14, another surprise. It's this one. Uh, it's um, uh, it's White Snake. Uh, the box set uh, live at Donington 1990 special edition box set two CDs DVD. It's on uh, Frontier uh, Records from 2011. It had been sold at an uh, average price of 30, 36 and 59 cents and a top price maximum price of 67 and 7 cents. Surprise! Surprise! It's a good one. Uh, the DVD, uh, it's not the uh, best uh, quality recording. It's, it's been it's got, it's been explained in the liner notes uh, here by the recorder. They they did what they did the best they could uh, because the recording, the original recording was not so good. So they they put out um, the best they could. But it, it's a it's a good uh, live performance of uh, White Snake at Don uh, Donington with. Um, with Steve Vai and Adrian Vandenberg on guitars. So there it is, at number 14, Point Sneak. At number 13, we have one, another one of, from a, one of my favorite bands. It's Queen the Miracle. It's from 1989. It had been sold at an, an average price of $37.24 and a maximum price of $75. And a minimum of 20 if you if you want to know. But there it is, um, number 13, Queen the Miracle, a 1989 pressing. Next, um, number 12, it's uh, this one, a rat. Invasion of your privacy, of course, it's the Argentina pressing of 1985. Um, everything is everything as you uh, already know. I, I've told you a couple of times, it's, everything is written in Spanish. It's been sold with a minimum price of $39.99, average and maximum price of the same value, $39.99 on the Atlantic Records. There it is. There. And next, number 11. Surprise, it's the, the first studio album of uh, John Petrucci, the, you know, the guitar player of um, Dream Theater. It's a 2005 uh, press release on uh, Sound Mind Music. It has been sold at an average price of $39.99 and max price, maximum price of $59.99. He put this year um, his second um, album with a lots of collaboration with uh, Mike Pornoy. So, surprise! To see them, this one so high on price. So there it is, John Petrucci and Suspended Animation, if you want to know what the, the title of the album is. So there it is, number 11. Number 10, uh, another surprise is this cassette. 
It's the Beastie Boys um, Paul's Boutique. It's a 1989 uh, Chilean cassette press, uh, It had been sold at uh, a minimum price of 30, average price of 40, and uh, maximum price of 49 uh, dollars. So really surprised to see this cassette being so pricey. It is. Everything is written in English this time, not in Spanish as, uh, as some other older cassettes. Next one, another cassette, and it's the Chilean press of, of 1986 of the mission. God's the medicine, but this one is written all in Spanish. As you can see, Dios es el remedio. As you can see, also the songs are written in Spanish. Has been sold at a minimum price of 30, average price of 44, and maximum price of 60 dollars. No, I'm not going to sell this one either. Next one, uh, another surprise is this. This is a um, Mexican pressing or Mexican edition of this compilation, and it's uh, "We're Happy Family" a tribute to uh, Ramones from 2003. Uh, DB8 records um, and it has been sold at a minimum price and average price and maximum price of $45. Really, really, really a, a cool surprise to see one uh, so high. It has um, some cool, some cool uh, um, renditions by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Rap Zombie, uh, Metallica, U2. Um, Marilyn Manson, Garbage, Green Day, The Offspring. So there it is. We have a family attributed to the Ramones at number eight in my list. Number seven, another surprise, is uh, because it is a very common album you have seen many times, also the CD, but it's the deluxe, deluxe edition of uh, Among the Living. Sorry about the glare. It's a 2009 US pressing on Island Records. It's a CD album, a DVD a remaster with a with a bonus DVD of uh, of the nine o'clock or NFB nine o'clock video. It had been sold with an average price of 49.89 and a maximum price of 67.55 cents. Here it is. Well, you know this one comes in this suitcase there it is the album the cd and the dvd Re really cool to see when this so high so so pricey because when i bought it it was pretty cheap uh, next one number um, six it's uh, the argentina edition of girls 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 as you can see chicas 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 in spanish and everything Backward in Spanish is uh, this is a 1987 Argentine pressing. It has been sold at a minimum price of $45, uh, average price of $52.33, and a maximum price of $65.44. Next, this one another Argentine pressing of Queen Hot Space. Of course, everything is in Spanish. It's a 1982 press on EMI Records. Minimum price of $53, average price of $53, and maximum price of $53. So it is the, the insert and everything in black wax. Uh, next one, number four in my list, it's Another Argentine pressing of the police, Sinjata Montata. Everything again in Spanish. It's a 1986 uh, pressing on AM Records. Uh, only one price, $55 for minimum, max and average price. So, number four with $55, same price, the police and Sinjata Montata. Number three, final Argentine pressing here. It's uh, Van Halen, Women and Children First. Everything 
in Spanish. Also, everything in Spanish. It's a 1980 Argentine present on the Warner Bros. Records. Minimum price, average price, and maximum price of $80.23. Wow! And now, the top two. This is uh, my. This was a winner prize a couple of, uh, one year ago, I think. Uh, it's Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon, the immersion box set. It's a CD album with uh, two CDs, albums, two DVDs, and a lot of goodies. Um, there it is, the, the detail. Minimum price $65, average price $83.33, and a maximum price of $129.99. Also, wow. And my top album, pricing according to Discogs, I remember I'm only taking the average price, is uh, this one Metallica, Kill em All, a 1983 uh, present, um, minimum price $20.1999. Average price of $117.50 and the maximum price, of course, it has been a, it had to be a, a sealed copy, a signed copy, and a wearer copy uh, of $426.83. Of course, this, this one is not going to be that one. There it is. My most valuable possession, my treasure, as our friend Colin will say. So there it is. Metallica and Kill em All. So uh, that's it. This is my long overdue uh, video response to this thread. I still ha have to do a lot of uh, threads respond, and I know there is uh, the tag of the 2021 tag. I'm trying to do it in a couple more days. I have to answer. Uh, Chris Profi's uh, top 10 Iron Maiden uh, songs of the 2000 and who knows where else it's going to pop up in the VC so once again thanks for watching this is Christian saying goodbye down here in Santiago Chile till next time see ya <laughs>